You and Olivia are so great. And yeah, I mean, she's she's really wonderful, and she's she's definitely a homie for sure. I couldn't drive actually. I was 16, but I like didn't have a permit. He took me in his car. Sabrina Carpenter just dropped a new song. It's definitely about Olivia Rodrigo. Like literally, the girls were fighting. You like skin? I think it's nice. Yeah. I cannot explain my side of the truth without having to expose other people. You're most excited to see you perform tonight, Sabrina Carpenter. First letter is the love of my life. Olivia Rodrigo was able to build a career out of a messy love triangle. Between Joshua Bassett and Sabrina Carpenter, these three were able to captivate the world through their chaos. Joshua attempted to play victim, while Sabrina tried to bully Olivia into silence. So what really went on between these three superstars? Let's get into it. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo is one of the biggest pop stars in today's music, but she had a bumpy road getting there, and part of that is due to her relationship with Joshua Bassett. Their relationship started off on the series High School Musical The Musical The Series in 2019. Since then, Olivia's musical career has skyrocketed, and she's taken home seven Grammys in 2022. One of the reasons she was so successful is because of her album titled Sour, which was inspired by her relationship with Joshua. The musicians have never officially confirmed their romance or their split, but fans have tried to piece together what had happened and how Sabrina Carpenter is involved. Joshua later came out as part of the LGBT community in 2021, and Olivia moved on and started dating this guy named Adam Faze, who she broke up with in 2022. But there's no denying that these two, Olivia and Joshua, had a relationship and it seems like it was super complicated. Starting in February 2019, these two meet on set of this high school musical spinoff. Olivia played Nini and Joshua played Ricky, and they were kind of like, you know, the Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens of the high school musical. And it seems like their on-screen chemistry bled into real life, and fans noticed it. I really fell in love with it, and I went into audition, and I read with Joshi over here, um, and it was just magical, and um, I, I felt like I was uh, really where I was supposed to be. So spilling the tea, I know that I had met Josh before the uh, initial audition process, but he thought that we met the first time at the audition. And I'm like, no, no, we met like multiple times. <laughs> Oh, but it's all good. Yeah. We're friends now. We're moving past it. When uh, I got the role, they had me reading with a bunch of different ninis. And at this point, you know, it was like handful after handful. And it was just like, OK, well, you know, maybe like, you know, a lot of a lot of maybes. And then um, and then Olivia came in the room kind of just there was like this spark and uh, and they had us do a song impromptu together um, and it just magically worked out. And so from then on, we were kind of like, all right, cool. Like I felt really good about it. The series premiered in November 2019 and fans loved to see these two together. But in 2020, we started to see Joshua with Sabrina. He was actually seen at a BLM protest with Sabrina Carpenter in LA, prompting speculation that he and Olivia had split up. <laughs> Shortly after Joshua was spotted with Sabrina, Olivia made an interesting social media post. Olivia posted a TikTok video that seemed to imply that a relationship had ended. In the video, she played a song which insinuates that, you know, their relationship was over, and she even included a caption writing, and that's on failed relationships. All I want is love and last is all I want too much to ask. Is it something wrong with me? So after fans saw Olivia's TikTok, they were certain that Joshua had messed up. And it doesn't help that shortly after, in October, he and Sabrina coordinated Halloween costumes very much like a couple would. So it's clear at this point that Joshua had moved on. And it seems like he was trying to keep everything in good spirits because when he was asked about Olivia, he said that she was really wonderful. They developed a close relationship. They were on set together for a lot of time. Quote, she's a homie for sure. His referring to Olivia as a homie further fueled fan speculation that the pair had split up. You and Olivia are so great and you have like the, the chemistry on in the show is so fantastic. How is it like off, you know, is she one, like how close are you guys? 
I just feel like you guys are like best friends now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, we're, we're very close. I think um, we, you know, it was, it was kind of cool when, when they approached us to write that song together. Like we just spent like every hour on and off set, like either sending each other ideas or like when we were on set, anytime we were playing, I would have my guitar or there's like a, always a piano around. So we, we definitely spent a lot of time um, together. And yeah, I mean, she's, she's really wonderful and she's, she's definitely a homie for sure. Now moving on to 2021, that's where everything changes. Because Olivia released her song, Driver's License, which was a massive hit, and it was about her split with Joshua Bassett. Star Joshua Bassett, it's called Just For A Moment. And I remember the day that we found out that they chose the song and that it was going to be in the show. We celebrated and we went to In-N-Out and I couldn't drive actually, I was 16, but I like didn't have a permit. And so he took me in his car and we like drove around the In-N-Out parking lot and that was my first time driving, so I'll always remember. This is Olivia in Joshua's car. So this song is completely inspired by this moment with Joshua and the relationship they had and his relationship with Sabrina. She wrote, and you're probably with that blonde girl, the one who always made me doubt. She's much older than me. She's everything I'm insecure about. The fans now think the song is about him and another actress and singer who has also worked with Disney named Sabrina Carpenter, given the fact that they've been hanging out with each other lately. Fans also think this because the original lyric for the song said that Burnett instead of that blonde, thinking that she changed the lyrics to go with Josh's new relationship. I'm sure we'll never know the truth. In her song, Olivia sings, I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. Guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. When this song came out, Joshua received a lot of backlash. People were coming after him, but he tried his best to keep his cool and be supportive of Olivia because they were, you know, co-stars and they really started their careers together. Joshua, Joshua. Can I call you Josh? All right. Josh, honey, I don't think you're stupid. I'm gonna give you that much. I don't think you're stupid, I don't. But I'm gonna need you to do something for me, okay? Okay? I'm gonna need you to take a look at yourself, a long, hard look at yourself in a mirror. Because this song became such a big hit, people had a lot of questions for Olivia. She was quoted saying, I totally understand people's curiosity with the specifics of who this song is about and what it's about. But to me, that's really the least important part of the song. It's resonating with people because of how emotional it is. And I think everything else is not important. So a very PR answer trying to keep everything cool. But because this song is so massive, people are also looking at Joshua and asking him to share his side. Joshua Bassett did an interview with Zach Sane, and in this part he talks about why he hasn't come out and addressed the driver's license situation. I cannot explain my side of the truth or explain any, any, or defend myself without having to expose other people, without having to then be like, well, this is actually what happened and here's why. Like, it, and so that was what was tough is like, I, I don't want to do the same thing that's being done to me. That's not my goal. I'm not trying to tit for tat. Two I'm, wrongs don't make a right. hundred percent. However, you, you, cannot, you cannot ignore a, a very vital part of this story and hope that you know, everything goes your way and, and, and pretend like there's not this other reality to it and then, and then force that on somebody else and then force them to deal with it and expect it to just be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, treat me like garbage and I'm just gonna stay quiet and let you do whatever you want. Taking a deeper look at their relationship, Joshua has also released music about Olivia. Six months before her song came out, he released a song titled Anyone Else. He wrote, how am I supposed to think about anything else? How am I going to go on keeping this to myself? I am done pretending I want anyone else. Anyone else, anyone else. He later confirmed that this track was written about falling for a friend who was unavailable. But that wasn't it, because after Driver's License came out, he released a song titled Lie, lie, lie. And it seems to be a response to her song about him. He writes, I know what you say about me. I hope that it makes you happy. You can't seem to get me off your mind. I'm sorry. That's a car. He's landing on a car. This is like 100% confirmed about driver's license. This is his rebuttal. These are, these are some lie, lie, lies about Olivia. Like, so fans weren't necessarily happy with Joshua's approach. He writes, I know what you say about me. I hope it makes you happy. You can't seem to get me off your mind. 
Oh, I know you're lying through your teeth. You told them lies that you told me. I've had enough this time. He said, I wrote lie, lie, lie after I found out a friend had been lying about me behind my back for a long time. It always sucks to hear that someone you thought you could trust would throw you under the bus when it benefits them. He added, it happens to all of us. And I think all you can do is seek out people that build you up rather than tear you down. Well, then Sabrina Carpenter, a month after this song is released, decides to put out her rebuttal. Sabrina released a song titled Skin, appearing to address the drama between herself and Olivia. The lyrics write, maybe you didn't mean it, maybe blonde was the only rhyme. This caught the attention of fans, as well as what appeared to be a direct reference to Olivia when she sang, don't drive yourself insane. Sabrina Carpenter just dropped a new song it's called Skin, and it's definitely about Olivia Rodrigo. Like literally the girls were fighting. The first lyrics are like, oh, maybe we could have been friends if XYZ happened, but then get this. And we all know this part of driver's license. Sabrina responded to that in the song. Oh my god. Oh my god. Another lyric, I'm happy and you hate it. As a class, let's just listen to the chorus together. Another lyric, don't drive yourself insane. Driver's license, come on. At the end, she's like, hopefully we can laugh about this someday. So Sabrina's response necessarily wasn't too emotional and sappy. It was a little bit more aggressive and throwing shade at Olivia. She wrote, maybe we could have been friends if I met you in another life. And maybe they could have been friends if they didn't have Joshua in between them. But of course, Joshua was a big fan of Skin and posted all about it. And actually, Joshua and Sabrina also collaborated on a song titled We Both Know around this time, but opted to delay the release as Joshua didn't want the drama to overshadow the music. Do you like skin? I think it's nice. I listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Olivia, I love you. Thank you for coming on the show. I'm sure Olivia did listen to the song Skin, but I don't think she was a fan. Hours after the song was released, she posted a video of herself on Instagram singing along to Taylor's song, Are You Ready For It, while in the car. So it seems like she's ready for blood, and they were going to continue this drama whether Joshua wanted to or not. Though it seems like Sabrina and Joshua were trying to bring back the drama because fans were so diehard for Olivia that no matter what Sabrina or Joshua did, they weren't going to change anyone's minds. Sabrina actually shut down rumors that she wrote a diss track about Olivia. She said in her song Skin, she's not calling out a single person, and she went on to post about Driver's License and call it a magnificent song. Sabrina was quoted saying that it's such a struggle not to be able to control the narrative and know that whether you say something or whether you don't say something, people are going to be mad at you either way. Even though they're trying to play nice in the press, this did not stop all the attention, and people were even mocking Joshua and an SNL skit about this situation and Olivia's song. That driver's license on uh, SNL, that skit they did. Uh, I was great. I was like, this is amazing. First of all, I was like, that's so badass that they used Olivia's song. I was super proud of her. And then they like said something about me and I was like, oh, I was like, I, I should be offended, but I'm pretty sure I'm just honored that uh, yeah. SNL is making fun of me. You're How honored you to know? be... Yeah, you're honored to be my bitch ex, Gina. <laughs> you see? Yeah, you get it. I mean, again, like, the, you know, I think that's really a compliment, the fact that SNL is uh, making fun of me. That's I will take that for sure. Yeah. So we've got the entire world playing driver's license. I mean, throwback. I remember hearing that song on the radio nonstop. And then we've got the media portraying it in different ways, and it really was a big impact. So naturally, a few months later, we started to hear some more details. And Olivia claims that Sabrina really wasn't a big part of the picture. Olivia said, I don't know her at all. I think we've met once or twice in passing, but I've never had a conversation with her. Olivia then shut down speculation that she would write a reply track to skin Sabrina's song saying I don't think I could write a song that was meaningful or emotional about someone that I don't know so kind of like a Mariah Carey moment like hmm I don't know her music awards who are you most excited to see perform tonight oh um Sabrina Carpenter okay oh, my favorite part oh, yeah on Bizarre Park we always sing smoke and fire with smoke and fire oh Sabrina we miss you plot twist Sabrina Carpenter girl hey. 
Fly by Savvy. Guys, did you see her on Jimmy Fallon? That was so cool. I was like, that goes Frida. I love Jimmy Fallon. So maybe Olivia is underestimating how much her and Sabrina overlapped because it does seem like Olivia was very supportive of Sabrina in the past. But then everything changes when Joshua decides to come out as part of the LGBT community. I'm not sure if he's the B or the G or necessarily where he is on the spectrum, but it was kind of just a random, you know, like wrench thrown into this drama that really nobody expected. So maybe Sabrina and Olivia, you know, they're not missing out on much. I was doing an interview, I'm sure you've seen this, and they asked me to explain all the things I love about Harry Styles, and I'm going on, and I'm going on, and going on, and they're like, tell me more. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going on, going on, they're like, what are more reasons why you like Harry? I'm like, so I keep going, I'm like, I guess this is my coming out video. <laughs> when I'm saying that, it's not a lie, but I wasn't planning on saying that. It, it was sort of a casual thing where I was like, you know, whatever. And honestly, like, I feel like we are in such a time where it's not less and less does it need to be a formal coming out or whatever. So anyway, I say that kind of as a side comment. Yeah. And again, it's not a joke, but it's not something I necessarily intended on. So really his orientation doesn't really matter in this story because he does end up responding to Olivia later that year. He releases three breakup tracks, one called Crisis, Secret, and Set Me Free. On Crisis, he sings, if you get to tell your truth, then so do I. And if it's cool if you want me to play the bad guy, but don't you dare act like I didn't love you. Now, while he released this new music, people were asking about him and Olivia, and he actually put out a statement claiming that he hadn't spoken to her in about a year. He said, Olivia hasn't spoken to me since driver's license came out. He also noted that he had reached out to her, but she never replied. Joshua Bessette went on the Zach Sang show and said he doesn't believe Olivia Rodrigo ever truly loved him because she didn't protect him when she released the music she did about him and she didn't care that that Josh almost died from heart failure due to stress that she caused. My philosophy is when you really love somebody, you want to protect them and you want to care about them. In wanting to protect people that I love, the people who haven't protected me, maybe they didn't love me in the way that they think they did. And maybe they didn't actually love me because true love, not romantic, true love says, I care for you as a human being and I care in your best interest. Yeah. And I want to make sure that you are okay. And when that isn't shown, it, it to me, I don't believe you if you say you love me and then you throw me to the dogs. You know, actions speak louder than words. Love is an action. When you're in the hospital, literally fighting for your life, the people you, you expect who know how bad your condition is, be there for you. When they're not, it, it's all the information you need in the world of who they really are. I do have sympathy for Josh because it can't be easy to have all these people hating on you and not being able to really tell them how it is, exactly how it went down. And it probably scared him away from relationships because in March 2022, he said he is not looking to date anyone right now. He says since coming out, he feels much more liberated. Quote, dating is not on my radar. I'm working on myself so much and the place I'm in right now, I really only have energy for myself. And it seems like he was focused focusing on himself because he and Olivia did come back together. In July 2022, Olivia and Joshua were reunited on the red carpet. Now, I don't think they necessarily reunited because they wanted to. I mean, maybe they did partially, but it also was a high school musical gig, so they may have been under contract. In October 2022, Joshua put out a TikTok with like a filter of like the love of your life. And of course, the first letter to flash up was an O, which stands for Olivia. And then he ended up redoing it and getting a Q because he does not want to be associated probably anymore. First letter is the love of my life. Second letter is the love of my life. Okay, Q, I'll take it. But let's talk a little bit more about music from Olivia's first album. Three months after Driver's License came out, she dropped her song Deja Vu, which pointed towards Joshua and Sabrina. She sang about watching her ex move on, and she referenced Joshua's jacket, teaching him about Billy Joel, and singing duets together. Olivia writes, quote, Do you call her? Almost say my name, because let's be honest, we kind of all do the same. Another actress, I hate to think that I was just your type. Does Joshua Bassett like Billy Joel? Mm. Do I? My uh, dad played Billy Joel all the time growing up. One of the first songs I ever learned on the piano was Piano Man uh, by Billy Joel, so yeah. How many times do you think you played Piano Man on 
set. Way too many times. Many times. Way too many. Many, many times. Remember that one day when uh, the DP yelled at me? They were like, how long is it going to take to get this shot set up? And he's like, a uh, hell of a lot faster if you'd stop playing that <laughs> piano. <laughs> was like... When the song Deja Vu came out, of course, Joshua was supportive, but he was a little bit late. A few weeks after it came out, he posted in support of it, and I think people are constantly asking him about this because they did come up together as far as fame. So they're looking at him for his opinion on her, and I think likewise, like looking at Olivia for her opinion on whatever he does, which is probably kind of annoying as someone who's trying to develop themselves as an independent artist. In June 2021, he did an interview about the hardest thing about the rumored love triangle he says the reality is it's kind of like a lot because trying to talk about any of that stuff i refuse to feed into the bs so i just don't everyone is asking me about sabrina and olivia why don't we focus on these women for who they are let's focus on the art that they're making and how great they are instead of their relationship to a boy in october 2021 we did see joshua and sabrina together at a harry styles concert which you guys know that joshua loves harry styles he really does so I don't know how much of a date this was. Maybe it was just two friends going. But Olivia confirmed that she would return for a season three of the High School Musical spinoff, and Joshua addressed whether he was nervous to go back on the set of that show. He said, I'm not. I'm very excited. I think we have a really, really awesome season lined up, and I think, you know, it's going to be truly a blast. So um, he's probably, like, you know, supportive of it because it is his job and he's getting paid for it. But I'm honestly surprised that, you know, Olivia went on to go and do the show because their music has been so successful. But in January 2022, fans noticed that Joshua unfollowed his co-star on Instagram ahead of filming season three. This song probably is, is one of my favorite songs I've ever written and I've just been so overwhelmed at how um, incredibly you guys have taken it and adapted it to your own lives. But it was a very hard song to write and I initially didn't think I would ever like put it out. Um, and it's all about kind of like misperception and, and feeling misperceived in our own lives which i feel like a lot of us have felt that way at some point even if it's in like our own friendships and relationships um and it's very fun to hear a crowd sing for a lot of reasons but it's <laughs> called because i like to boy Sabrina still references everything that went down. During her concert in LA, Sabrina dropped Joshua's name while changing up the lyrics in her song Nonsense, singing, I've got a great personality, but no tits. This song is not about Joshua Bassett. During one of Joshua's shows in March in Oregon, someone shouted F Olivia in the middle of his song. And in this video, you can see him shaking his head with a stern look while he played the piano. He was not approving of them talking badly about Olivia. Now, it seems like Olivia has an approach to music, which is similar to Taylor Swift's. Like, she sings about her personal life, and we can kind of uncover what it's about. In her song, Bad Idea, right? It seems like she's reconnecting with her ex-boyfriend, but all of her friends tell her it's a bad idea. Still, she leaves the party in the rain, she gets a ride in a pickup truck, and then on a bus, and then she finally gets to his hotel room, where she sings that she just tripped and fell into his bed, and fireworks go off. The lyrics go along with the theme of her trying to convince her friends and herself that seeing her ex is going to be totally fine. She says, and I'm right there with all my friends, but you're sending me your new address. And I know we're done. I know we're through. But God, when I look at you, my brain goes, ah. Oh, yes, I know that he's my ex, but why can't two people reconnect? I only see him as a friend. I just tripped and fell into his bed. And I told my friends I was asleep but I never said where I'm in his sheets. All the clues in Bad Idea, right, that point to yes, maybe. First of all, this promo from Olivia's Instagram story has this address on it. That address is the same as the one Olivia used on her driver's license in the driver's license video, which is believed to be about Joshua. There's also a white Honda Civic in the video, and Joshua has a documented love for Honda Civics. He bought one when he landed his high school musical, the musical, the series role, and it features heavily in his Feel Something music video. When Olivia knocks on her ex's door, it's apartment 22. Joshua's birthday is December 22nd, and he's currently 22 years old. Plus, 
Plus, the two reunited on the red carpet for the High School Musical, the musical, the series, back in 2022. Lastly, Olivia's glowing ex has a guitar case next to his bed, and Joshua is obviously known for his guitar playing. Olivia herself says that the concept for the song started as a joke, but it might just be a joke based in reality. So there's a lot of clues in their music on what could be going on here. And ultimately, they're probably using this to their advantage. I mean, I don't think that Joshua or Sabrina are... I mean, I can't say that for sure, but I know that I learned about Olivia and all of them through driver's license and this controversy, so it definitely helped their career in an interesting way. Nonetheless, I love Olivia Rodrigo. I love her new album, and I feel like she's going to be someone to watch in music and someone who we're going to be following for a very long time. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.